decided to paint up all the brake stuff uh, with clear coat. So I'm just prepped it all, got painter's tape, cleaned it all down really good with alcohol. So they're looking a lot cleaner than they were before. Hopefully this clear coat just helps keep any corrosion out of any of those chip spots. So yeah, majority of the chip spots are on the inside so they're not gonna be super visible, fortunately. But yep, that's what I'm doing guys. Just gonna pray to baby Jesus tonight and hope everything goes smooth. Hope there's no leaks, no seals that need to be rebuilt. We're getting started. First thing on the OEM WRX brakes, two bolts back here. These ones are 17 millimeter, but the STI ones are gonna become 19 millimeter. So knock those two out first. Loosen up the caliper and we're gonna take off the rotor. All right, so just gonna leave the WRX caliper there for a second. I've got PV Blaster soaking on the brake line right now for the flare nut. It's a good idea. Next is gonna be the dust shield, which is a 12 mil. So there's two of those, one there and one there. There's a third one down here at the bottom. Don't forget it. WRX, STI. See, that one fits inside that one. We definitely need the bigger one for the larger rotors, so. Next thing is knock out this 12 mil that's holding the brake line down. And then we can do the flare nut job, spill a bunch of brake fluid, and get the new calipers on. I got this flare nut vice grip. Got it online, I'll post a link. And this is 12 to, 12 to 12 to 16 millimeters in. Pretty sure that's the size I need for in here. Actually, I might be wrong about that. That might be the 10 one. So yeah, fortunately, it came in a set. So I got three and this one's nine to 11 millimeters. So I'm gonna take my time and actually try to get this off, off camera. We'll see. I just don't wanna jinx myself. Wanna get it done correctly. Cool guys, so uh, buddy Eddie's editing the camera right now. So. I'm, there's a little clip in here. I've got the flare lid in at least, but you're gonna have to get this clip off. Uh, there it is. Bit mangled. Not bad. Could probably bend it back, but I bought new clips just in case. So that's out. Now I can undo my flare nut and get the stock brake out of here. And you are gonna lose fluid everywhere. There it is, guys. Your stock brake. There's the new clamp part number right there. That's the one you need. I got the, the Brembo is connected. Flare nuts ready to go. We're gonna just throw this clip in there, tighten it all up and get it mounted. Blew our mind. OEM WRX, right in. 16 pounds with everything on it. Brembo six pot. 12.4 pounds. So we may be adding weight with the rotors because the rotors are about four pounds heavier, but we're saving four pounds on the calipers themselves. That's crazy. Stock rotor, 21.8. Heavy ass OEM Brembo rotor, 25.4. So, yeah, the rotational mass is more important, I know, but hey, the wind's a win and we're saving weight. The rotor, and I just put my lugs back in here and just kind of wound two of them together in there so it's kind of gets this mounted in the right position before I seat the caliper here and throw those 219 bolts in. You do those 219s, it's all mounted up, and then finally, just come back, put your brake 12 millimeter on there and your first sight is done. The rear. Right there, 14 millimeter. So there's two 14 millimeters holding on the caliper. So we're just gonna knock that down, pop this off, and then look at the hub. 12, meter, 12 millimeter bolt on this side for the brake line. And I'm gonna try that little trick where you put the 12 millimeter in one of these holes. 
and it's going to slowly pop this off so we can remove it. And now we're going to look at this fun stuff and figure out how to disassemble this properly to get the rear dust guard off. So huge shout out to Brian Small. He's a master Subaru technician, buddy of buddy of mine, friend of my dad. And I've been sending him some pictures and stuff. So you do have to remove these first. All these guys. Because these are going to stop you from removing this parking brake assembly. And there's 14 millimeter bolts on the back. Down in here by the axle, there's four of them. We're gonna get those after we get these springs out, and then we should be able to remove this cover. Top three first, and I'm just using needle nose pliers as you saw. And then there's two bottom ones down here. This whole assembly is already kind of loose, um, but I'm gonna go after these two bottom ones. So bear with me. You wanna get this pin here and just turn it. Can you hold this for me? Take a good look at that like unlock it and that'll actually free this bottom assembly but I still got that bottom spring holding it together so oh. this back spring goes through let me see this bring it lighter mm -hmm. that, that back spring goes through the dust cover whoops in there I don't know shadows covering it up but goes through the dust cover in there so that back one I think is actually tightened on look at that you have to unscrew that let me figure out that bolt size so here's this piece slides down and that's an eight millimeter Well, I guess just, I'm pulling this coil back like that, and I'm gonna slide it out or try to. Oh, oh, we did it! All right. See these two pins, the little ones we use to unlock. Just slide those out. If they'll come out. Oh, yeah. Okay. One. Slide this one out. Two. Awesome guys. All right, I'm gonna go after those 14 millimeter bolts. Get this dust cover off for good. Before you remove your four 14 millimeters, take out the hub bolt. It's a 32 mil. And we use the impact gun. It's my friend recommended. I tried the breaker bar at first and I was like, this is not, doesn't feel right. And this did the job right away. Just gave it enough vibration and loosened it up. So this is off. I'm going to go back, remove these four in the back, and remove it all. Just pulls right off and your axle's loose after that. This is an, an insane job. And now, last thing, there's a pin in here that I need to pull out to remove this front brake deal. Slide it all back together and get those 14 mils back on. Okay, so OEM rear, 11 pounds. Oh, these are definitely heavier. Holy shit, 18.4? Are you kidding me? I'm adding 7.4 pounds. This is gonna be the slowest WRX ever, you guys. I don't think I can recommend this mod. Pop this rubber plug out and put it right there. Now we're gonna check out my homie's STI here. He put a four inch nameless. Those are huge. So 
seven. It was coming up at eight. I think it's eight. Seven point eight. Seven point two. Done. Front and rear. Now the moment of truth. Sketchy drive to the dealership. And hopefully they bleed these bad boys for us. Alright y'all, wish me luck. Alright, dropping her off here. Yeah, that looks good, man. Looks good. Got some work to do. Oh well, yeah, buddy. Oh man, these brakes have way more bite already, I can tell. Do a little back row cruise. It's worth it. <laughs> it just bites. I'm gonna do a review on these brakes tomorrow with the GoPro and try to get the video up for everyone soon. It's an awesome day well spent with my friend Ed. Anyways guys, I will catch you later. Thanks for joining. Hope you guys have a great week and yeah, I'll see y'all soon. Peace out.